What is up, guys? And uh, what the? I'm doing a vlog today. Just a simple old vlog. I uh, just got done recording Dragon Ball. Uh, you may have already watched that. If not, make sure you go check it out. Um, my, I'll probably um, I'll put a link down in the description. Yeah, I'll put a link to that video down in the description. I played Dragon Ball online for the first time. It was pretty good. It wasn't terrible. I haven't done anything since that recording. I literally just turned off the recording, and turning it, turned it right back on. Um, but we're just going to do a vlog and talk about stuff. Um, number one, I got to start figuring out some different games to play. And, you know, I have Minecraft for sure, and there's, I can record that forever. And, I mean, people may get old of it, but there, I, it's endless content. There's thousands of mods, thousands of mod packs, adventure maps. I can do co-op stuff with someone if I get If I had any friends. That was another thing I was wanting to talk about. Um, I'm looking for a gaming buddy to join me and do uh, videos. Uh, they don't have to record their hand. That's up to them. I just want someone that's willing to get on, is able to play the game, has to be able to play it, has to be able to get on, you know, at probably a regular schedule, probably about once a week, maybe once every other week, depending. But I need someone that can commit and do, you know, play a game with me. I, that way I have a buddy. And it, you gotta be able, I gotta be able to get along with you too. If you're a dick, I'm just, it's just not gonna happen. Um, so if you hit me up in the comments, I will chat with you for a while, and maybe do a live uh, feed chat or something like that. And um, whoever it is, you gotta be a regular viewer. Um, I mean, you can't just be getting on there and just have your her voice heard on YouTube. I would like it if you're gonna play games with me. You you have to like my content too. I mean, if you don't, don't bother. Don't bother messaging me. Don't bother trying to get a hold of me. Whatever. Just don't. If you like my content and you really want to be part of it, hit me up. I say I'd like the game out with you down in the comments and um uh. Just say that, and then I'll hit you up directly, uh, whatever way you wish to communicate, uh, depending. Uh, that depends. But just let me know down in the comments, and uh, we'll have a chat, talk about games that are possible, games that I could actually perform, stuff like that. Um, anyway, off that subject, i got to find new games. I've got a whole bunch of games to play. I'm just not sure if I want to play them. Um, now... Let's see. You know what? Real quick, what we will do is I'm gonna open up a notepad or a wordpad. Wordpad document. And I'm going to switch over to here. Um, window capture. Okay. Uh, let's stretch this out to fit the screen. Fit the screen. That was not that did not work like intended. Um, that help any? Not really. Okay. Let's go ahead and stretch it out a smidge. Okay. Now here's the games I have. Uh, let's see here. Of course, Minecraft. Uh, the Odd World games. That means Munch it. Munch's Odyssey. I don't think I spelled that right. Strangers, Wrath, Spell, uh, and the other two, uh, kind of like slide, slide scroller games. Um, I have those games. I have Ark. Okay, Ark. I have Resident Evil. Four. Let's see, what other games do I have? Quite a few. I'm trying to think of them off the top of my head. Um, let me open up Steam real quick. My library. Let's see here, we have H1Z1 King of the Hill. Alright, um, let's see. Steam. 
as the portal one and two. Let's see. Sonic Adventure, Stellar Overlord. And I actually have the two battle uh, DLC. Now, I didn't really care for Stellar Overlord. It seemed like an okay game. Uh, my brother was more into it than I ever was. Uh, and I liked playing it with him. Uh, I also played Warframe. Don't really care to record that one, though. Um, I mean, I could do Ark Survival of the Fittest. And I've got this dinosaur hunt game. It was just like a cheap $1 game I tried. It wouldn't be a bad game to record, so you know what? I'll go ahead and type that out. Dino Hunt. And it came with like six DLC. Uh, actually, I bought the DLC pack. It came with all of them for like five bucks or whatever. There was a zombie one, uh, machine hunt game. And they're really old, like PS1 style games, but uh, they're not bad. Let's see. Uh, looks like that's about it for those games. I do play some other games that are not listed on here. Like, I have, um, let me switch back over. I'll leave, actually, I'll leave that up. Me, scooch, did that help? No, that did not help. Okay, let's scooch this over. Can we see it better? Yeah, we can see the list better now. Okay. Um, that's a list of games I, have, I know I have off the top of my head. Um, They're pretty good games. I'm not sure which one I, don't, I really want to play, though. Um, now, I can get just about any game. Uh, most modern game games can be able to play it at a fairly smooth frame rate, at least 30 FPS. But I'm um, not sure which game I want to play, honestly. I mean, we got Minecraft, Oddworld games. Um, I signed up for that Sea of Thieves um, Insider program, and um, I'm hoping they'll eventually get back to me. And if I can get that game, I'm going to record the shit out of it. I heard it's a badass multiplayer game, so I've seen a few videos, but I really want to play it, like, really bad. I don't know if my PC will be able to handle it, but I'm going to play it eventually, even if I have to upgrade my graphics card first. Um, Um, ooh, I don't know. Let's open up, you know, let's, uh, I'm going to switch over to the Steam page and change the window capture to that. Yes. And go ahead and stretch it out as well. Yeah, um, uh, stretch it out a little bit further here. What are you doing? Move, damn it. Okay. Stretch it out a smidge. There we are. Now you guys can see it. Oh, stretch it down a smidge. Is that better? Yeah, it's better. Okay. Um, Alright, now there's quite a few games we could play. Like, I could go to the free play games. At least till I get some money and find a game to play. Um... I don't know. I, I mean, I'm pretty picky about my games, honestly. I, I don't ever get recommendations for games, and I don't like card-based games, especially digital versions. I mean, in real life, I'd love to play a card game, and I may even record a card game or two. Um, but I don't like playing digital versions of card games. Uh, these are new and trendy games. So what's Pixel Worlds? Hello everybody, hello and welcome. My name is Jake and I am the community manager here in Pixel Worlds. Pixel Worlds is a massive multiplayer social sandbox game where you get to decide what you want to do. Do you want to find and explore great worlds made by other players? 
or play great platformer type levels with your friends and compete who is the fastest to finish. You can be one of those creators and create your own world and try to win the next week's world of the week. Or maybe you want to be the farmer who farms these building blocks and sells them to the highest bidder and who becomes the most successful trader of them all. Customize your character, be unique and be what you want to be. On top of that, we do weekly videos and live streams on YouTube and in Twitch where you get to tell us your opinions, your feedback on the game and have an effect where we go next with this game. Thank you for being here, I'm Jake and I'll see you in Pixel Worlds. Mm, you might, I doubt it though. Um, eh, it seems alright I guess, my computer can handle that no problem. Uh, we'll put a pin in that one. Form aside. There's a lot of great games out there. I like just scrolling through the free games. IKEA VR Pancake Sandwich. I heard IKEA games, like where you have to do IKEA stuff, is a pain in the ass. And it causes more anger than it is even worth. No, well, thank you. Sounds. Game. I don't have VR, so I'm not going to play a VR game. Uh, eventually, I plan on getting a, um, a Vive, and uh, when I do, I'll definitely play a bunch of uh, VR games, but I can't afford a Vive right now. I assume that's a VR game, too. Or a Vive game. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um, Brawl of Ages. What is this? This is Brawl of Ages. I see a that. A real-time PvP collectible card arena with intense head-to-head -head matches and a variety of dynamic and powerful cards. With gameplay that's fast and easy to understand, players can dive right into the action. Brawl of Ages has over 85 unique cards, with a streamlined mix of features and mechanics from several RTS, MOBA, RPG, and tower defense genres. Customize your deck of 10 cards to best fit your individual playstyle and strategy. At its core, Brawl of Ages is a competitive game. So, let's walk you through the basics quickly, because your opponents might not be so forgiving. Each player starts a match with two base towers and a throne. By default, you start on the left, but you can unlock the camera and move it to any angle you prefer. The objective is to destroy your opponent's base, and protect your own. Killing the enemy throne is an instant win. But, if that doesn't happen within five minutes, the player with the most towers standing takes the victory. Play cards from your hand to summon units and cast spells. These cost mana, which is constantly regenerating. You start the match with 15, up to a max of 20 mana. So players can make some aggressive moves right at the start. Base towers have limited ammunition to defend themselves. The more pressure you apply to one tower, the easier it'll be to destroy. Now for the fun stuff. There are four types of cards in Brawl of Ages. Units, buildings, spells, and totems. Units and buildings can typically only be deployed on your side of the map, while spells and totems can be cast anywhere on the battlefield. Units are your trusty brawlers. They traverse across the map automatically and kill everything in sight, unless they die first. Some units are really powerful and even have special attacks, such as leaping at enemy buildings or channeling a deadly laser, while others reduce the cost of your spells while they're alive. Several units even have death effects, leaving a special boost or aura in an area after they die. Buildings are destructible and stationary. Some summon hordes of units, others help defend or attack from afar. 
Unit spawn patterns can even be toggled with some buildings, allowing you to send out a stream of little attackers or a big dude every now and then. Spells and totems are your instant cast game changers. I like that. These include All the changes and directional like that, spells actually. like that does sound pretty good. I want to play that. See, I like card games are funner when your characters actually come to life and you can control them up to a certain point. Like, there's this one other older game. Like, it's a really old game. Um, if you've heard of it, Yu-Gi-Oh! And they, uh, they've always been a card game. And even when you found digital versions, they were always card games. And I loved playing Yu-Gi-Oh! as a kid before I gave away all my cards to my brother, who then in turn gave all of his cards away. At least I think he did. And uh, uh, I, we found this one game growing up called Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels of the Roses back when they had the first generation of Yu-Gi-Oh! out. And essentially the way it worked, you had, it wasn't like a your part of the mill Yu-Gi-Oh! game. You didn't have your opposite sides in play. No, it was a full-fledged battlefield. Each card, had, each card had a big space. I think it was like a, like a 20 by 20 space map or whatever. And there was different obstacles, different land masses. Like, if you fought someone, like, you could have a mountain terrain here, but you could have, like, a dark terrain right here. You step into that square, and you're in that dark terrain. And if you ran over a card to fight it, in that terrain, that's the kind of terrain you fight in. And any cards that got powered up based on that terrain would get the effect. Which, I really enjoyed that. I mean, it was a different kind of effect. And the gameplay wasn't solely based on what cards you had on the field. They wouldn't be able to attack you if any card you had out at any given time. You had to go and move your card all the way to them and attack them. It was a completely different style of gameplay, and I really enjoyed that with you. Which tells me that's a game I'm going to play as well as probably this one. So Brawl of Ages, and I'm going to go ahead and write that other game down. It's a console game, but I'm going to emulate it. Um, list of the processes. and uh, Brawl of Ages. Both sound like great games. Uh, so much so that I'm going to go ahead and get this one installed. Great desktop shortcut, and Steam library, um, one gig, yeah, sure. Okay, that's installing. All right. All right, just added those two games to the list. That's installing now. All right, um, we're recording for about 20 minutes. Um, let's go ahead and switch back over to face cam. All right, we found a few games that we play, but again, I want to know down in the description, or down in the comment section, what games you guys would like to see. Because I don't want to keep playing Minecraft every day. I mean, I like playing it, don't get me wrong. I could live stream and have videos for an entire week. And if I had other games to play, I could, uh, you know, live stream one of them, do, do like four live streams and have videos for a whole month, just break them up into episodes. Or I could just record a bunch and, you know, switch it up and have time to record all these episodes. I'm only going to do one video a day. I'm going to try to do at least one per day. That's how it's going right now. I mean, I missed a couple of days here a little while back. I went home to see my father and uh, his best friend that came up. Had a great time. Uh, and Dad, thank you very much for letting me know they came down. I had a blast. It was a great time. Um, the guys were really smart. It was just a big old blast. Um, and if they ever come back down, make sure to let me know that. Don't forget that. Um, anyway, um, we found a game. I found a couple games we want to play. I'm definitely going to play this, but I would like to pick out at least two or three more. Um, so I can kind of switch on and off as I want to upload, something I want to play, stuff like that. I have some choices, you know? Um, so right now we have Minecraft. We have Dragon Ball Online. And I know for sure, well look, the game has already finished downloading. I love this Wi-Fi. It's amazing. Uh, Dragon Ball, um, Dragon Ball, Minecraft. And uh, I may do more than one Minecraft series. Like, I've got Sky Factory going right now, but I'd like to have a second going. We'll do Yu Gi Oh! Uh, Brawl of Ages. And I'm going to get one more. One more. That'll give me five. Did, wait. Minecraft. Yu Gi Oh! Ages. 
Yeah, one more. That gave me five different videos. Five different games to play. Now, my schedule for what games will go up when will probably be pretty irregular. There will be at least one episode of each every week, probably. I don't know for sure yet, but I like that idea. Um, now I've still got a couple of Minecraft videos from that live stream I did that need to go up, which will. Uh, I've got part one, oh, part two of the live stream. The, actually, the second part of the second, of the third session of live streaming that still has to go up um, of that eight hour stream I did. That'll be going up uh, probably before this, episode nine. It's about a 30 minute video, or 26 minute I think, and it's, it's yeah, it's ready to be uploaded, but it ain't going up till tomorrow. Uh, it may not even go up tomorrow, I may upload that Dragon Ball episode tomorrow, which for you guys was like a day, maybe two ago. So, and I may upload this video tomorrow just so I can get it out. I ain't uploading it tonight though. But, um, I'm not sure if there's anything else I want to talk about. Again, back to a recent note. If there, I'm looking for someone to play with, get me up in the description. Make sure you can get on probably the same day every week. And probably play games for a good hour to two hours to so I can do recordings and have someone to game with. Um, I mean, if you're a cool person, I'll probably hang out with you, out, I'll like chat with you and game with you off the uh, cam. But um, I, I want a, a gaming buddy for uh, doing recording. And if I don't get anyone, I'll see if one of my old friends, uh, I can hit up one of my old friends. Uh, I moved away from all my friends, so It'll be a challenge, but I'll see if one of them's interested in playing. Where I live at, uh, the Wi-Fi is shit. Like, I didn't even know this kind of Wi-Fi exists. 200 megs per second download speed is, like, incredible for me. And there's even two packages about what I have. So, <laughs> I'm not used to it yet. I mean, I'm enjoying the hell out of it, but I'm not used to it. And um, uh, most of my friends still have that really crappy Wi-Fi. So it's kind of difficult to game with them. I mean, I might get a friend to actually come here and do a recording with me, but that'd be like a one-time special. I won't see them for a long time afterwards. Like on my old channel, I did. I had guest players. Like I gamed out with my friend Billy once or twice. I had my girl on the channel. Well, she may join me for a video or two. Probably not tonight. Cause she's kind of mad at me, but <sighs> oh well really much I can do about it. Uh, I'll probably go talk to her after this and see if she's calmed down enough for us to talk. Um, but she'll probably do a video with me. I know my last channel uh, I did a video of Mario Party, um, which all those videos are still available. In fact, I'll link them down in the description. I'll link my whole channel to this description. Um, I had really crappy Wi-Fi and I was trying and I was lucky to upload a video once every three days. Like every two or three days, I was able to put out a video. Now I'm putting out a video every day because it's easy. I record it, I edit it, and I upload it. Like I had backlogs of videos ready to go. Like I had six videos recorded and edited, but because of my upload speed and because we had such crappy internet, I had to limit my upload speed just because it would take up every last drop of the internet we had and we couldn't do anything with it and everyone wanted to kill me. I can't do that every day to everyone. In fact, it even with a uh, non-limited upload speed, I was it was still taking a day and a half to upload a video. So I couldn't do that. Here, it takes 30 minutes to an hour, if that. Which is great. <laughs> I love it. I can live stream, play games, it's awesome. But there I couldn't. So, but I do have like 20 or 30 videos uploaded on that old channel. And I have before uh, people unsubscribe to the channel, I was up to about 25 subscribers. I was doing pretty good. I was pretty proud of myself. But I guess after I gave up that channel, my followers just gave up on me. Didn't think I'd come back. I mean, I, I made one comeback when I started this channel. And in fact, there's a whole bunch of unlisted videos that may go back up, may not. I don't know. Um, but I ended up leaving again and didn't start back up until I moved out here, so we'll see. We, 
I've been living out here for months and I've been uploading since about since pretty much right after I got the Wi-Fi set up. I did a recording, realized that it was so much easier to do all this, and I was like, yeah, let's do this. I also got a better computer since all that. But, and so, you know, we're doing all right. Getting videos out and pretty easily, too. Um, so, the games we've pretty much chosen are uh, Minecraft, for sure. I love Minecraft. Um, my... Um, my Resident, oh well, I don't know about Resident Evil, but uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, Dragon Ball, for now, uh, that may change in the future if it gets a little too grindy, as it is an MMO, you have to do a lot of grind, and it may take quite a bit. I know later on there'll be like big raid battles and stuff like that. Um, if I get more time, like pretty soon I'm going to be starting my new job and I'm going to lose a lot of time, but... Uh, once my girl goes back to school and I'm able to get away from her a little more frequently to record and stuff, that'll be a little bit easier, but at the same time I'll be working. So, I mean, right now my job is part-time. Um, I did get told about another job I'm planning on applying next month, where I'm actually working for the apartment complex that I'm living in, which is awesome. 30% uh, off rent to start with, and if I work there for three months, free rent. So I go from, uh, I, it's like a $380 pay raise on my paycheck, um, like a 3 or $4 increase per hour paycheck, because it's uh, once you work there for 90 days, you get a promotion, and uh, that promotion is like a management level position where your rent is free, and uh, you still get paid like 10 something an hour, so altogether it's like two grand a month, which comes out to be like, what is it, 2400 a year, it's not a lot, but hey, pays my bills, and I don't have to pay for rent, which would be awesome. I just told about that today, actually, the maintenance guy was coming by the water, uh, washing machine that just went out. It's difficult to wash clothes without a washing machine. Oh, well. Um, anyway, guys, I don't know if I have a whole hell of a lot more to talk about. Get games figured out. I do want to figure out some more, so please let me know at the end of the day comments uh, what games you'd like to see. Um, again, gaming buddy, hit me up. Don't know who you are yet, but I'm looking forward to meeting you. Um, probably do a Skype call or something like that to me, to chat, if you're cool with that, of course. Uh, I prefer you be cool with it. You know, if I'm going to game with you, i got to get to know you a little bit and uh, figure out your personality. Because if I don't like you, it's not going to happen. Uh, I'm, pretty light, I'm a pretty easygoing guy. I like, I, I, I get along with everyone. High school, I was friends with cheerleaders, uh, jocks, band geeks. In fact, I was a band geek, and anywhere in between, from emos to goths, and there's a difference to the nerds, to the class presidents, uh, even underclassmen, upperclassmen. You know, I was just nice to everyone. I could get along. I could. I was socially adaptable. So you know, it it would take a lot for me not to like you. You have to be a real dick or, you know, someone that's just too competitive. I, I can't believe someone that's too competitive. I mean, you know, yelling at the guys for beating you is one thing, but freaking out, getting all angry and starting breaking shit, that's just too much. Don't do that. I, I'm not going to game with you if you're like that. And I don't care if we're halfway through a series, you show me some reason not to like you. I'm just going to say, no, I can't do this anymore. I'm going to let my viewers know that that's not happening anymore. And I'm going to move on. It's just the way it is. I'm going to completely cut all ties to you and uh, not speak to you anymore. So if you're going to do this, i got to make sure you're a likable person. So I'm going to get to know you a little bit before we start gaming and recording together. So again, hit me up in the comments. Um, I'll figure out a way for us to chat. And if there's quite a few people, that's not terrible either. I wouldn't mind having a little community of guys going on, you know, where I can game with or girls. I'm not picky. Um, hell, half the, uh, half the girls I know are badass at gaming that can kick my ass. So, um, if you're a female gamer and want to game out with me too, that's fine too. Um, as long as my girl don't get too jealous, that's cool. But, um, 
I don't know if there's anything else I gotta say to that. Oh, make sure you have pretty good Wi-Fi. I'm not gonna game with someone that's just gonna eh, 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 the entire time I'm playing. I can't do that. You know, I gotta be able to put half decent quality out. That's why I'm reluctant to talk to my old friends. None of them had good Wi-Fi. I mean, I love my friends to death, but they're all working full-time jobs, working for some, you know, crappy company somewhere, just trying to make a living, but they're, the Wi-Fi down there, unless you lived in town, like most of my friends and family didn't, but if you lived in town, your internet wasn't terrible, but even the town I lived in, the Wi-Fi was still pretty shit. Um, so, again, good Wi-Fi. Good manners. You can curse like a sailor for all I care. Just don't make it a constant habit. Because if the all the words out of your mouth are just straight curses, you know, that's not a conversation. That's just, you know, it's barbaric. Have some humanity or something, you know. Be civil. Um, you know, I mean, those aren't, those shouldn't be unreasonable terms to game with me. You know, nice outgoing person, you know, if someone pisses you off and you say, son of a bitch, or, you know, something like that, you know, that's a big deal. You know, everyone gets angry at a game every once in a while. Um, I'm not going to be playing a whole hell of a lot of competitive games anyway, but, you know, only a few. Like, I may go out and play some Call of Duty at some point, or something right. like that. Because um, I do enjoy playing first-person shooters, adventure games. Um, sandbox games, racing games, you know, I'm pretty multi control I even like some simulation games. Um, role playing games, of course. Um, now, there are a few games I don't tend to play just because I just can't get into them. That's uh, World of Warcraft, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, um, some of the MMOs that are out there. Um, now, if it's just like a game I have to purchase and download and stuff, I'll talk about it with you, and eventually I might get it, but it may not be right away. In fact, if uh, the first game you can play with me as a team, a teammate, uh, could be, uh, the best games to start out with me would probably be Minecraft and probably Trials Fusion once I get the game, because they're both really good games. Uh, it's actually a pretty uh, common set list for my, one of my favorite YouTubers. Uh, Captain Sparkles. Uh, those were his two go-to games to play. I mean, it's not going to be the only games we play. We're probably going to play GTA 5 once I get that game. Which I know blasphemy. I don't have that game yet. Um, but eventually I plan to get it just because I enjoy GTA. There's also a bunch of newer games coming out before too long that I'm planning on buying for my computer. And again, once I have a TV, I've actually got an Xbox One to play games on. And I plan on getting games like Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, probably grab the, probably get a new copy of all the Halo games. Um, and uh, there's actually a, a custom Halo gaming uh, setup that's coming out before too long for PC. It's a whole recoded uh, Halo game uh, service. They've been working on it for years now, and I'm hoping it comes out before too long. But it's a small group of guys that have been putting it together. I don't know how long they're planning on working on it, but I eventually want to play it. Um, and if I have a friend that's playing with me regularly, I'm going to see if they'll get it too. And I think it's going to be a free game because they don't own the rights to Microsoft in any way whatsoever, but they've been working hard on this. Like, these are very updated graphics, a ton of original maps, original guns, um, original, well, I don't know about original abilities, but I don't know. I, actually, I don't even know if the abilities are in the game. I think they were trying to go for a mesh of... Uh, Bungie with a mesh of 343, kind of putting it together and not trying to cross too many borders there. <laughs> like uh, armor customizations there and a uh, few other features from the uh, uh, newer Halo games, but at the same time, it's kind of putting, giving you the feel of the original Halo games at the same time. And I think there's some mix and match, match options you can go for to play between the two. Um, but I don't know much about it. It's still in like early beta. They've been working on it for a long time now, so I don't think it's going to be out anytime soon. But if it comes out before too long, I'm going to play it out. I'd love to have a buddy to play it with me. Um, but yeah, Minecraft will definitely be a big go-to for me. Like, I 
like I said, I do a lot of mod packs and adventure packs and stuff like that. Uh, Sky Factory is one of my go-tos. Like every time they make a new version of Sky Factory, like they're at Sky Factory three now. And I don't know if Sky Factory four is in the works or not. I doubt it, seeing as uh, they haven't got a whole lot of mods as far as past one point ten yet. I assume at like one point twelve. They might reintroduce a new Sky Factory. It's a whole new group of guys that are working on it. Because the originals were like, uh, I think his name was Bacon Donut. And he developed like Sky Factory 1 all the way up to 2.5. And um, he handed it over to the guys of Feed the Beast, I think. And they took it over. And they're developing the game now and keeping it updated and stuff. So if the next Sky Factory comes out, uh, probably at 1.12, which I can see happening. It ought to be a pretty good game, and it will be recorded and uploaded on here. Um, ooh, I've been talking for about 36 minutes. Okay, so recap. Pick some games to play. Finding a person to game with. Um, thank you, Dad, for that visit with your friend and his, uh, and his family. Um, it was a lot of fun for me. And I think that about wraps it up for me today. I don't know if there's anything else I needed to go over. Um, I hope there's nothing I left out. Oh, I think I got it all. Alright, well, <clears throat> guys, that'll about do it for me. Um, make sure to check out, uh, if you enjoyed my video, to give it a big old thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos, videos on those games I did describe. And uh, go ahead and click on that little bell down in there somewhere. Not sure where it's at, but it's down there. And uh, also come check out my Facebook channel, it, uh, my Facebook page. It tells you about a lot of content on my uh, page. If I have any upcoming events going on, they'll be posted on there. Um, if I have any, uh, you know, any information related to VIN number in general, it'll be posted on there. Now, also don't forget to check out my Twitch channel where I do live streams probably about once to, once a, once a week to about once every twice a week. And, uh, it's generally a pretty long stream, anywhere from two to eight hours. It's pretty long. Um, I'll probably be doing another long eight hour stream for a while. But uh, if I start getting more followers and views, uh, I'll probably start doing longer live streams more frequently. Especially if I can start getting donations to be able to help, you know, help fund me being able to do more of those videos. Um, because they're really long, they take up a lot of my time. And unless I'm, you know, getting a little more out of it, I can't afford to spend that much time in one consistent, consecutive session playing a game. Um, for now, I, I mean, I'm still going to do them. It's just not going to be very frequent. Um, but yeah, check out my Twitch channel, both the Twitch and Facebook, uh, chat, uh, links are down in the description, and, um, I think that'll about wrap it up for me, guys, so, I will see you in the next